everyone, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple gathered skirt with an elastic waist and an optional bow belt. This is a very simple, quick project, so if you're a beginner, you can definitely handle this. It's all put together with simple straight lines, not very many pieces, and it's completely customizable to any size that you want based off of your waist measurement and however long you want the skirt to be. This is for non-stretchy, so woven fabrics, something like 100% cotton. The fabric I'm using today is a 100% cotton recycled fabric that I found from the thrift store. And the only other things that you're going to need are some matching thread, your sewing machine of course, and some one inch elastic for the waistband. So once you have all of that, we can go ahead and get started. There are three pieces that you'll need for this project and you're gonna cut two of each of them. So you can go ahead and pause here and take a screenshot so that you can figure out the dimensions of your pieces. All you need to know to get started is your waist measurement and however long you want your skirt to be. So once you have those pieces cut out, we will move on to prepping the waistband. Lay your two waistband pieces right sides together and then sew the short edge with a half inch seam allowance. When you have your long waistband strip, we're gonna press it in half wrong sides together and then press in both of the edges a quarter inch to create your long waistband piece where the edges are nicely tucked in. And then we're gonna join it into a loop by opening up the ends and sewing those two short edges, again, right sides together with a half inch seam allowance. Next, we're gonna join the skirt panels and gather the top. So put your two skirt pieces on top of each other, right sides together, and sew along both of the short edges with a half inch seam allowance. And this will make your two skirt panels into one really big skirt tube. Next, you'll gather the top edge of your skirt I like to do this by hand, but you can do it by machine if you like. All you have to do is sew a straight line or two at the top of your skirt and pull on the threads until it gathers down to your waist measurement. Now we're ready to attach the waistband onto the skirt. So start by finding the side seam of your waistband and matching it up with the side seam of the skirt. Unfold the waistband, match up the top edge with your skirt and pin it in place. And once you've done that on both of the side seams, you're just going to do the exact same thing across the front and the back. So you'll unfold your waistband piece, match up the top edge with the top edge of the skirt and pin it in place. And while you're doing this, you might need to kind of tug on the skirt to adjust the gathers so that the skirt piece ends up the exact same size as the waistband. When you have it pinned all the way around, it'll look something like this and you will sew a straight line all the way around on that quarter inch press line. After you've sewn that, you can see that if you flip your waistband up, you've got a nice clean seam on the outside of the skirt. So what we'll do next is fold the waistband in towards the inside of the skirt so that it sandwiches around the gathered edge. And we're gonna sew right along that bottom edge, but make sure that we leave a gap of about two or three inches to put our elastic in next. So now our waistband is attached all the way around except for this gap of about two or three inches that we left and that's where we're going to put the elastic in. So you can see on the outside we've got some nice top stitching on the bottom and we've got this just one little gap left. So grab your elastic, it should be one inch wide and cut to your waist measurement minus two inches. You'll put a safety pin on one side and use that to help you feed it through the waistband casing.
When the elastic is sticking out both sides, you can take the safety pin off and overlap the two edges about half an inch and then sew zigzag stitches back and forth across the edge to join it together into a circle. Now you'll just pull on the waistband of the skirt so that it sucks that elastic inside. And once the elastic isn't sticking out anymore, we'll just sew down the gap with a simple straight stitch right along the bottom, just like we did with the rest of the waistband. And when you're done, your waistband should look something like this. To hem the skirt, fold up the bottom edge by one inch twice then sew along the top edge of the fold to create your hem. And the last step is to attach the belt. So first we'll have to prep the belt pieces by folding them in half right sides together and sewing along the short diagonal and the long top edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Then trim down the seam allowance and turn your pieces right side out. At first they'll be a little bit kind of puffy like this, so we're going to take them over to our iron and press them flat, which just makes the belt pieces look nice and crisp. And to attach them to the skirt, fold in the short edge about a quarter inch twice to conceal that raw edge. And then I just hand stitched it right on top of the waistband where the side seam is. There are a couple different ways you could attach the belt for this project. The way that I did I thought was pretty simple for a beginner and um, it allowed me to create a belt that was a little wider than the waistband elastic so that it would kind of hide it a little bit more. But if you don't want the belt to be attached on the outside of the skirt, you could always sew the ends into the side seams of the waist casing and then that would be a little bit more seamless. Or you could create your belt so that it is long enough to go all the way around you and then do like a thread loop or a fabric belt loop to hold it in place on the sides. So there's a few options there. I just picked the one that I thought was the simplest for a beginner and also like I said I just wanted it to be a little bit wider of a belt. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did please give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment to let me know. Until next time I will see you over on the blog or in my next video. Bye.